Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome to show Kugeki no Soma episode 1 review. Um, now, before I go into the review itself, let me just do a bit of explaining. Um, um, in the first section, it will be um, episode episode one review um, there will be no rating like I usually do when it came you know like me watching anime and um, I will like you know put in the description you know the time for um, the episode two review if you want to go um, straight to that and depending on what the episode is like that may or may not have a rating now I'll explain um, something like this now I'm not saying this bad before you before um, any of you say anything um, because I don't rate it, it's just that, to me, it, like, would seem difficult, I mean, th that's the problem that I could see myself having, and I thought I would have some some kind of problem with that when it came to, you know, romance genres, that's why I stay clear from um, reviewing them, um, minus Fuka, but I've trailed off of that, so, yeah, but anyway, um, this is the episode, um, one, um, review uh, well, uh, as well as the first impression so um, let's begin um, so a quick question I need to ask you all did I just watch food porn I mean is that what I just watched because oh um I don't know if I'm the only one but every time you know like I've watched an anime and, you know an eating scene is coming and then you know they make all the sound effects I'm like oh god it grinds my gears, it annoys me, um, and me going into this, I sound like a bit of a hypocrite, but granted they didn't do all that, you know, um, food, typical food sound effects, I suppose, when, um, you know, the actors and, act uh, yeah, actors and actresses are, you know, voicing them. Instead, it, uh, the, the sound effects were more along the lines of ecstasy, and, yeah, it just, uh, how do I explain it? It looked like when they were eating... The way they described it, and the way, especially Mayu, I remember her name. Uh, oh yeah, I might as well just say, I, I don't remember characters' names for the first thing. Um, you know, was describing the octopus thing, and I was just like, what is going on? And then when the tentacles came, I was like, where the hell are those things going? I mean, you know I thought it was going, I thought they went up um, into the holy garden, shall I say. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Uh, if I skip to the next ecstasy scene, I might as well just say that, then, uh, yeah, I've skipped a few things. So, we get introduced, uh, introduced to Soma. I think that's his name. I may be wrong. But yeah, I'm gonna say, say Soma. If that isn't his name, then just, you know, kick me, but, yeah. Anyway, um... In the beginning, um, there was like, you know, a little food competition between him and his father, and obviously he was going to lose, but to me, for a personal thing, oh, well, it has nothing to do with cooking, but it's the, um, um, how should I say, uh, oh god, the competitive streak side f for me, like, um, when I saw that, you know, they were just arguing about the number of times, like, someone has won or someone has lost, like, the dad was just like, what was I making, 500, and someone was like, that's 489, you bastard, so yeah, and then I was just like, oh god, it reminds me of my dueling days with my brother, so yeah, yeah, he always lost, on the rare occasion he would win, uh, which always shocked me, but it was either because I had a cr I had poor card draw, or yeah, everything didn't go according to plan, which was usually the case, or he was just extremely lucky, which yeah is major. <laughs> so yeah, back to yeah. Um, when he lost to his dad, I was like, okay, I was expecting that, and then he, he's just moping in the corner, and it just creates that, you know, that, what caused the tentacle scene, uh, like, that squid, and I was just like, oh god, he created something horrible, and he force-fed that girl, I was like, oh god, and then that scene came in, and then I was just like, uh, wait, what, it felt like you were being groped, uh, what, how, 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 how do you get that feeling from food, I mean, yeah, I'm still flabbergasted at that, but yeah, I'm just going to move on from that. So, and then we find out that the dad has that streak, um, not the, um, well, I don't really know, losing streak or, you know, 
down in the dump streak or whatever. Well, obviously not to his son, of course, whether it was in his past, since it was mentioned that Summer doesn't really know much about him, which is kind of strange, considering he's your father, but, um, yeah, he, he gets the habit of making bad things from his dad, and they were arguing about which was worse, and I was like, does it matter? The fact that you made bad things and your chef is pretty poor. No offence to them, of course. And then, um, you know, this purple-headed girl came in. I don't know her name. Oh, I've got to say government official with tits. Do not hate me. I'm sorry. She just comes in, and I was just like, oh, God, what is this? Is this the typical, you know, uh, we need this land, buy it, we'll sell, well, no, there you are. Yeah, we'll buy, rather, idiot. Uh, we'll buy this land off you. And I was just like, okay, let's see how the scene goes. And I was like, okay, I hit it on the nuts. <laughs> uh. And then Soma was saying all this stuff like, um, we'll clo the only time we'll close this shop is when we can't serve a single customer. I was like, okay, you may regret that. And it was proven to be right. But what annoyed me was the fact that she just came in all high and mighty when it came to the, you know, um, you know, Soma finding out about this stuff. Now, I will say this. No, no, that'll be skipping ahead. I might as well just say when I get to that part. Um, I was just like, oh, God, I know you're, you're being obvious, and I know Soma isn't an idiot, but can't you just call the police for van breaking and in entering and vandalism? I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, <laughs> what? Oh, wait, I suppose that she would flaunt her breasts to the cops, now that I'm saying that. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. So, yeah. She's just, like, um, coming in, saying I want a a meaty dinner, I suppose. Uh, obviously, it wasn't worded exactly, and I'm not here to word them exactly. Um, and then when he was making all the stuff, like, the, the scenes with the cooking and, you know, him pulling off his, um, uh, I'm going to say sash, well, no, bandana. It's so dramatic. I mean, I don't really expect to see something like this. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be a simple cooking um, um, episode. And while uh, that does sound boring, I was intrigued to see what it was actually about and to see how over the top it was. I mean, me, I don't really like over the top scenes because it always leads to unnecessary cringe unless it's needed. Like, you know, a misunderstanding scene, even though the misunderstandings are the most cringe worthy out of them all. However, it adds to its charm. I mean, I was enjoying myself. I was literally smiling and laughing for the entire thing. Not because, because it was, well, yeah, it was stupid, but. It wasn't so stupid that it bored me. I was enjoying myself, and the way, you know, someone just looked so epic, and, like, you know, pulling off the sash, pull, putting on his apron, and then just, like, cooking all the ingredients together and making that pork thing. And I was, like, going through the thing, like, hang on, hang on, how, how, how does he have that? Is he trying to food poison them? If so, fair enough, but I don't think that will be good for business. But then when, you know, everyone's... Uh, but then I had the thought that, oh, maybe they left some... Um, out, so they forgot some, and then she was asking that question, and then, you know, they were like, oh, and like, no, and I was like, oh, okay, so, where do you get the ingredients? And the thing that he made all that from, you know, uh, l uh, what he said for tomorrow's breakfast, or dinner, whichever one, I was just like, damn, son, <laughs> that, that was badass. And then, she feeds the girl, well, actually, she feeds herself, and when it was, you know, on you know, her body, and I was just like, are those things gonna pop out when she eats her? But I was just like, when she first had it, I was like, oh, good gracious, it's like... <laughs> Is it wrong for me to assume she was hitting her climax? I mean, the innuendos here are, are, are obvious, but... Yeah. Um, and then, you know, him saying, like, you know, taking the food away, and she was like begging for it, and I was like, okay, right, okay, let's see how this goes, and then it was just like, if you want to eat this, um, and you enjoy it, you never come here again, and I'm keeping this place open, and then she was just like, nah, nah, and then just saying that, oh, fine, I'm gonna throw it out, and she was just like, no, and I was like, oh, good gracious, oh, and then she eats it, and then her clothes 
pop off, but she wasn't the only one, it's like her bodyguards did as well. I was just like, oh, good gracious. <laughs> so yeah, I was a little bit surprised, to be honest. Uh, and then, you know, his dad came back, and I might as well just say, um, I thought that he came back to the shop, saw all that, and then it was just like, okay, he... Let's see if my son can sort out, because he asked um, on the phone when he was walking home from school um, it, what he wanted to do after middle school, and then, you know, he said, I'm going to study at the shop, something along those lines, which I was like, oh, okay, so might as well just see if you can keep the thing afloat, and he can, but the dad just came back, and it was all serious, and then he just drops the bombshell, like, I'll be closing up for two or three years, I was just like, say, what, well, mother trucker? And, um, yeah... Um, I suppose he's letting his son grow, in all, in my honest opinion, because he, the son, Soma looked comfortable there, and while, um, having a dream, a desire, and a profession that he's, you know, good at, well, the profession obviously being good at, is very commendable for someone so young. Now, obviously, everyone has talents of all things, but... Cooking is, to me, is a very advanced talent, especially with what he's doing. So, I think while the dad did benefit from, um, obviously accepting this this job offer from his mate, I think it's it was also for his son to grow. Like he did say, you know, for, to find yourself or see what you can do, which I was like, okay, and then. When all like you know like school things saying go to like you know this culinary high school and then you know Soma had that um, imagination thing I was like really you can't be that stupid come on son and then you know that scene and I was just like wait what's going on and then the dad was begging ten million what are you on about and then just dramatic bloody school thing I was just like wait what this is a school and then the dad just like oh did I mention it's a um, prestigious, the top culinary school, and I was like, oh, right, okay, and the graduation rate is 10%, I was like, say what? <laughs> so, for that, he obviously has faith in his son, or either he's just being a troll, but either way, episode one was surprisingly enjoyable. Um, now, I will say this to uh, manga readers, um, uh, well, I should have said, th said this in the beginning, uh, well, obviously, from what I said in the uh, review, aka summarization, um, but I haven't read the manga, and I do not plan to. I'm going to watch the whole series as an anime only. Um, so, manga readers, if you are coming here to listen to me, then I ask um, if you please refrain from spoilers for both myself and um, my viewers as well. So, yeah, um, that was episode one. Good start. I know I'm late to the party, but still, uh, <laughs> I wanted to have two episodes up because I had a funny feeling I would probably, you know, be a little bit biased for this anime for some odd reason. But I, I surprised even myself. I enjoyed it so much. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to give it a rating, but for a joke rating, food porn out of 10. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, well. See you in episode 2, um, if you're watching, well, the episode 2 review, if you're watching the whole thing, so, see you in a bit. Hello, and welcome to the episode 2 review section, if you skip to this, um, so yeah, welcome, and I must remind, um, well, I must say, since I didn't say at the beginning of the episode 1 review, so, uh, well, since I, uh, it was an introduction of sorts, um, I haven't read the manga, I don't plan on reading the manga, I am watching this series blind. So manga readers, please do not spoil anything or well I or say anything. So yeah that would like you know spoil events for my sake as well as my viewers' sake. So yeah, um episode two My sweet chocolate buttery Jesus Now when it end, when, well, actually, when it ended, I didn't think it was ending, and when you get that feeling of, um, like, no, I want more, you know you've got something good, you know that it's being done right, so, yeah, um, although that is kind of a 
strange thing to say. No, not really. Yeah, I'm having flashback to glass flip. It wasn't that it was good, it was because I was curious to see if it would go the way that I, I thought it would, and it didn't, and yeah, it was bad. But this is different, of course. This is enjoyable as hell. So yeah, we get introduced to a new character called Irina, and good gracious, that monkey at the beginning. Like, her descriptiveness and morals, I should... morals for, for, for food and the culinary arts is... Somewhat strange. I mean, why? I thought she enjoyed the food when she tasted it because you know when she Im well, actually, well, yeah, she imagined herself in the hot spring, and I was just like, oh, okay, she enjoyed it. But then I saw the monkey. I was just like, wait, what? What's going on here? Oh, well, actually, ape, but still. And then she just said, like, this was so bad. It was like I was bathing with a with an ape, and I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> things and stuff like that. So yeah, um, she's the Tsunda character, most definitely. I wasn't expecting her to be a Tsunda character, I was expecting her to be the high and mighty character, but until, you know, after the events of the exam, I was just like, yeah, she's a Tsunda. So yeah, voice cracked like bitch, let's continue. Well, let's just dive in, shall we? Um, the opening was pretty much... Um, you know, what I expected, um, you know, him feeling a little bit, um, anxious of sorts, but then, you know, the dad was saying, like, oh, you know, if you fail, you can, uh, kiss that dream of surpassing me goodbye, and that's always a good thing for, um, to motivate someone when they want to surpass someone, especially when it comes down to, um, your parents. I mean, that's the best advice that essentially anyone could give, but... The advice that his father really was going to say was um, find a woman to, um, you know, devote yourself to cooking. And I suppose he's right, but in, you know, the love sort of way, um, it works, like what he's trying to say, I understand it, it like works for anything really, like with what you do, do it for... Um, not only for yourself, but have someone else in mind. Like, for him, he was doing the cook, Like, his father was doing the cooking for, obviously, his wife. Don't know what happened to her. Probably dead. I mean, yes, I know that sounds dark, but come on. <laughs> if she isn't, and it's a divorce, and I'll be graciously surprised. But either way. Um, so, yeah. Um, whether um, someone does find love... Um, to, I suppose, advance his cooking, because I suppose I'll make him uh, go to the next stage of his power, essentially. Uh, that remains to be seen, but um, I don't remember there being a romance tag. Yeah, I've seen the man. well, I haven't read it, but um, when I clicked on it, and I was like, mm, oh, the anime's coming out, I may have a look, and I was like, looked at the tag, so I don't really know, I don't remember. Surprisingly, it's a shonen, which I don't really understand how... I mean, before shown it was a typical fighting thing, which what everyone says, or at least what I hear. By the way, um, I'm trailing off. So yeah, um, so yeah, the father is basically saying, um, find someone to um, help please with your passions. Like it's always good to be motivated um, through the dream, but also. W through pleasing another, like it could be a family member, it could be a friend, uh, it could be a lover, so, yeah, or in YouTube's case, it could be, like, you know, viewers make, mm, make sure they enjoy themselves, you know, kind of like that thing, um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna skip that pompous, you know, the, you know, the rich kid, because I knew it was gonna go that way, I mean, like, it was, I was kind of expecting, like, okay, it's not going that way. And then when he said where he came from, I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah. We learn about um, Lady Arena from him, though. So, I suppose he's that's what, what his relevance was about. Um, she has a thing called the God Tongue. And at birth, she just said when she was being breastfed that this tasted bland or something along those lines. I was just like, okay. And... She's a client to all the best chefs, so it's kind of strange. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but I suppose it is funny in a sense. 
to have the most mastered chefs being talked down to, um, uh, you know, high school student. Yeah, she's a high school. Since she is applying, since so knows applying for her. Uh, high school. Yep, high school. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then she was just like, you need to make, um, you can make any dish as long as you incorporate eggs into it. And they were afraid of failing and she offered withdrawal. And it, the guy was just like, if we fail, then we can kiss our dreams in the um, uh, cooking world goodbye. I was like, oh, okay, right, well, so now you're going to stay, buddy, since you're ignorant to her. I was like, yep, okay. <laughs> Normally, it's fear on the, of the unknown, but in that case, it was the fear of knowing that um, scared everyone off. But him, he was just like, you know, acting his usual self, like, oh, okay, um, hello, I know you're having a lovely Yuri moment over there, but um, I'm still here. Yeah, um, they've all ran off, so, yeah, I'm ready to take the exam. So, yeah. Oh, wait, you're gonna kiss? Okay, I'll watch. <laughs> I was so hoping for a kiss, I was just like, <laughs> come on. Uh, yes. Yeah, Yuri gods. So, yeah. The exam itself was pretty much information heavy, but I just have their, like, you know, like, saying to myself, oh, why are you telling people? I mean... Normally, I have the problem when it comes to people telling their powers, but with the, the cooking, it's essentially something more uh, problematic. Well, it's, it's the same problem as well. Like, I mean, I suppose someone could, like, use your dish against you, and depending on whether... Well, I don't really think that could happen, but it may happen, whether or not. Like, you know, you know where, the exa where they're in the room? for the exam and then you know the door was like opened by a crack and then that guy was just like standing there I was just like is that the grandpappy of arena you know well now that I'm thinking that because you know of the ending so yeah um the exam I thought that he was gonna fail not gonna lie I expected him oh so this is like the losing thing okay but no he won essentially he passed the exam not literally, though. Uh, hypothetically, he did, but because her soon the type took over, and because... Well, actually, I suppose I would act like someone if I was in his shoes, like someone so pompous and high and mighty, saying, oh, I have the god's tongue. It takes a certain etiquette to um, please this tongue of mine. Oh, good gracious. <laughs> So, yeah, and then when something as simple as that came up, you know, like rice with, um, you know, the eggs and whatever else it was, whatever, I don't really know. I mean, I know it was said, but it was just so information. Everyone was like, oh, okay, so that, that made that. I was like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> and she was enjoying herself. She took one bite, and then she was like, I didn't save the taste. And then it was just like, oh, you're going in for another bite, are you? Hmm, well, so you must be enjoying it. And then she was just like, God, are you going to complain? I need to take it out. I was like, oh, really? Just say you enjoy it since you're doing that. I mean, like, it was honestly good if you if it passed through your taste buds. So, um, she enjoyed it to swallow it without savoring it. There we are. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the innuendos. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just because of the type that it is. I mean, it's... Uh, not bad. And then, you know, when it got to the final um, taste, she was just like, it's like my body is being caressed by angels. And I was, the feathers of angels were like, oh, okay. Fair enough. And then, you know, little Soma angels came in and was trying to pull the robe, the bathrobe off of her. And then, you know... Tickling her, it's just like, okay, <laughs> where will you go with this? And then so much when she's just you no know, like feeling limp after take it after tasting the um, third bite. I think it was a third bite. Um, so it was just like, so is it delicious or disgusting? And then she was just like disgusting. I was like, what, Mitch? Please. And then she, and then you know, so much just you know, feeling down in the dumps. And then, you know, she just talks to the grandpappy, like, well, actually, tell grandpappy that um, everyone failed. I was just like, wait, what? Bitch, please? Is the grandpappy going to come in now? And then it ended. I was just like, motherfucker. So, yeah. Um, this episode, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It was very good. I mean, I feel if I give it a 10 out of 10, people will just be like, oh, you're a fanboy. Um, and that 
does kind of sound, from the way that I'm speaking, it does kind of sound like I am. But I'm just enjoying myself. I'm having fun with the anime, so, yeah. Um, oh, I might as well. 9 to a 10. Take your pick. Um, whichever satisfies you best. <laughs> I'm not being rude, but still. Um, so, yeah, the episode was, once again, very enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually eager to see what happened. Well, actually, what? Well, well. Friday, I think they released so in a couple of days. So yeah, um, if you stayed through um, both my reviews, thank you. If you just stayed for um, the episode two review, um, thank you as well. And I will see you for um, episode three. And um, let's see if the grandpappy comes in. And hopefully, hopefully that lovely dark-skinned blonde girl from the opening comes in. Maybe, I don't know. I will only ask this, manga readers, is it possible that she's coming in next week? Or what is her name? Tell me her name, I need to know her name. Because <laughs> she looks fantabulously beautiful. So yeah, see you for episode 3.